We all know that lenses, they're just not cheap and the glass on the front of them, it's really not that durable. There are things everywhere that are ready to damage the front of these lenses. Knives for scratches, a drill, punches. There are certain things you can buy, certain things that you should be using to protect your lens. Some a little bit more practical than others. A UV filter in short is a piece of glass that screws onto the front of your lens and protects it against scratches. If you were to drop the lens, you might break the UV filter and not the front of the lens instead. You should have one of these on every lens you own, no ifs, ands, or buts. It doesn't matter whether you buy a cheap Amazon one or if you buy a more expensive one, as long as you have something on there, it's gonna protect your lens more than not having it on there. A lens hood like this one on here, just screws directly on to the front of the camera, like so. They protect it from sun flares and sun glares. But more practically for actually protecting the lens, I put one of these on my camera when it's in the bag. That way, if I didn't have a filter on the front and it goes into my bag and there's something in the bottom of my bag, it's not gonna hit the front of the lens, the glass. This is gonna protect it. If, say, you did have, I don't know why you would, but a knife in the bottom of your bag and this dropped in like that, it's still gonna do it some damage. A lens bag is something else you can use to protect your lens. When you first get it, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, this is actually pretty good. I can see myself using it. And then that's it. You never use this ever again. It looks cool, but you don't really do anything with it after you've bought the lens. They're big and they realistically don't offer any protection to the lens whatsoever. So we don't tend to use those. Lens caps are obviously something else that come with the lens, both the front and the back. I personally don't use either of these because they're very easy to go missing and they don't really attach to anything. It's taken off, it gets thrown in your bag and then you lose it very easily. The rear cap tends to stay on the lens in storage and then it goes onto the body and then whatever lens was on the body comes off and this goes back on. But for the most part, I do not use these. Speed and ease of access, quickly being able to take that lens out of my bag, put it on the camera is way better than having to worry about and deal with these. Now, that being said, Polar Pro just sent me this. Shout out to Rockwell, thank you. This is called the Defender. Aptly named, it defends the lens. They come in different sizes for different lenses, and basically what it does is, goes over the end of the lens, like so. It's made of molded rubber, so it stretches a little bit, but it easily goes on and off of the lens. The nice thing about this too, is the end is super hard, like, knock on your knuckles hard, knock with a hammer hard. It's solid. Anything that's in your bag that may damage this isn't now gonna damage it. It doesn't really add much in terms of size to your lens because it literally slots over the front. It really doesn't weigh a lot, it's really lightweight. It's a great portable solution to protect different lenses without having to carry around a different size lens cap for every lens. You can take this off of one lens and put it onto a different lens. There are lots of other options out there for this kind of thing, but nothing really made quite like this. There's a ton of neoprene ones, there's some real solid ones, but this is the best of both worlds because it's soft, easy to go on the front of the lens, nice and quick. And it also gives you the solid front to protect the glass. So if you're looking for something out there to protect your lenses, to protect multiple lenses and not have to buy a million lens caps if you've lost them all already, or a million different sizes of things, this will stretch and fit over multiple sizes of lens. Oh yeah, and Polar Pro didn't pay me to make this or anything like that. They literally sent me this. I didn't even know what it was that I was receiving until this came because it's a product that they've never launched before and it's brand new. So I wanted to talk about this honestly. It's a product that has a lot of real world use. If I'd have had this a couple of weeks ago, it would have easily made its way into my top 10 camera accessories, which is up here if you haven't already watched that. So yeah, that's the Polar Pro Defender. I'll put the link down below for you if you want to check that out. I got another video coming for you later on this week, so stay tuned. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. I wonder how many times I can do this while not looking at it and looking straight into the camera. Let's see. That didn't last very long, did it?